Hi, this is Josh. In this video, I'm going to be replacing this defective CPU on this XEDK that I bought a bit ago. It boots up only one or two out of every ten attempts uh, due to an issue internal to some of the DD1 CPUs. You can see I've already removed a bunch of the capacitors because it also needed a recap, but uh, I'm going to be replacing this CPU with another one that I have on hand. This is the chip I'll be installing. I've had this chip on a different console before and I know that it's good, so that's why I'm going to be using it. I got it nice and uh, reballed there, so it's all ready to go on. Okay guys, I'm sorry that my hand kind of blocked using the squeegee there, but you can see I've got it all cleaned up, so I'm going to prepare to install the new chip. All right, I've got it recapped. I've got the Titan connected, some heat sinks on it. Let's go ahead, moment of truth. Good sign. Very good sign. Yes, it is functioning properly. This is awesome. All right, I'm gonna give it some more boots and uh, then I'll clean it up if everything's good. All right, so I've got her assembled. I'm just taking a quick NAND dump before we, uh, before we boot it up. Got my little adapter there, and uh, my X-Flasher there, and I've also got the uh, proper Argon board in the front there plugged in. So uh, yeah, I'll get this NAND dumped, and then we'll uh, give it another test. Okay, I've got the system assembled here. Uh, I just have the Titan sticking out for now. I'll mount it in the cage later. Uh, I've got the DVD drive. Now, interesting, the, this DVD drive says something that looks like firmware 0037, whereas the ROM version on the sticker is 3.2. And I think they actually fixed some of the issues with the disk drive, because I've noticed, compared to my other disk drives from XCDK, this one actually sends the trace status to the motherboard when it's powers on. So you don't get the blinking light here forever, and um, it will actually play the beta startup animation. For those that don't know, I did demo this before, but these early ring of lights will not play the boot sequence animation if the tray uh, status is causing the light to blink. I've also got my hard drive here loaded with some uh, XEDK stuff so uh, we can uh, test it out. So uh, let's boot the system. Now you can see I also have the updated Titan that does the little blink here. And you can see that boot animation displaying there. I think that's really cool, that beta animation. Go ahead and launch. Uh, I like light shafts. I think it's a good test of the uh, GPU. Um, and uh, you can hear, the, I, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but I can hear the coil wind change now that the GPU is under more load. Um, uh, but yeah, seems to be working. It's pretty cool. Let's see what these buttons do. Neat. Pretty cool. So I'm probably gonna let this uh, 
stress test a little bit, let it run here on light shafts, make sure it doesn't freeze or crash. Um, here, looks like we're getting like about 100 FPS, pretty nice. Uh, but everything looks like it's good. It looks like the system is working. See it there. And, uh, you yeah, know, all recapped and good to go. So, uh, all right, I've got the system back in the case. Couple things. I don't have the proper eject button, so I just use the silver one for now. What I may do is take one of the white ones and spray paint it black, just so that it looks a little bit less out of place. I also don't have the faceplate, so because of that, I also did not install the black diffuser. I do have the black diffuser, but I'm not going to install it because it makes it too hard to get to the power button. Plus, I've seen images, and I'll see if I can put it up on the screen here, um, in the Microsoft lab where they had them sitting like this without the, the lighthouse on it. So um, I'm going to uh, just leave it like that. Um, but yeah, yeah, we'll give her a boot here. Took a retry that time, but I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, let's give it another boot. That one, yeah, went instant. Cool. So, yeah, I don't know why it sometimes does that when you turn it on. I guess because it was mid boot and when I shut it off. But it's cool seeing a little bit of a buggy behavior. I'm really happy with this. It's a very cool system. Let's boot it up one more time. Alright, so, there's the Titan, doing its little thing, it's the SMC LEDs, back here is check stop, sticker, that's going to do it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, I'm really happy to have this system working.